Welcome to Big Bad Dad TV. Today I thought we'd take a look at and review my Moza Mini Me Smartphone 3-axis gimbal. Stick with me. Okay, so here we are. Today I wanted to talk about our Moza Mini Me uh, Smartphone 3-axis gimbal. Uh, it's something that I picked up at the beginning of the summer to go on a trip uh, and wanted to videotape my kids and family and have some ultra smooth motion and some cool things. So I looked up uh, 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 gimbals and started doing some research. And after all my research and things like this, and I'll get into the reasons why I bought it earlier, I decided to go with a Mosey Mini Me. And again, I bought this. No one gave me any money. No one gave this to me. If I don't like it, I'm stuck with it. If I like it, I'm stuck with it. Uh, or whatever so uh, just so you know upfront uh, disclosure I paid for this uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it uh, there were some issues when it first came out uh, some software problems and bugs that were uh, with the uh, uh, the mini me app uh, that, that that comes on the iPhone uh, things kind of were stuttery and things like this and 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 I was borderline not real happy with the uh, unit itself but the good news is is Moza has uh, really worked hard to get this thing right. Uh, I'd say that minimum of every two to three weeks they're coming out with a new app or an app, app update that has made some significant changes. They've uh, changed the uh, the user interface uh, significantly since the day they, they had it. It's much better now. Uh, it's very intuitive. Again, you know, I don't have a lot to compare it to because this is the first and only gimbal I've ever had. But with that being said, I also know what a good user interface is, and it's much better now and much more uh, easier to uh, navigate through. Uh, the unit itself is made extremely well. Uh, it feels extremely strong. Uh, it's plastic. does have some metal parts to it. Uh, there's several things I do like about it that kind of push me to the edge of buying this uh, uh, machine or this uh, uh, three-axis gimbal. Uh, number one was all the... Uh, ports that you can put on, all the uh, shoe ports that you can put on. I just made that up. I don't know what they're called, but I should know that before I do this. But anyway, it enables me to attach this right here so I can put my mic on it, uh, a light on it, or whatever. And there's several of these uh, little uh, points that you can screw things on on top. So if you want to do a microphone, a light, uh, any other type of adapter, is very simple and easy to put on these things. The other thing that came with is a little tripod mount, or not a mount, but some feet that uh, I can set it up. Now granted, that's not a big deal, not very expensive, and you can get those for any other gimbal out there. But look, like I said, this thing costs over $100. Last thing I'm gonna do is buy one of these also. So it came with it, that was a good little deal. Another aspect of this that I really like is its gyros. They're real powerful for something this size. They're good for 300 grams. The uh, highest one I found before, I think was 250, and most of them around 200, 225. The great thing about this, if you've got iPhones, and I've got an iPhone, uh, you know, they don't have the uh, headphone ports anymore in these things, so you have to use their adapter, which means if I want to run sound off this and hook it up here, I can't put it right against the, the, uh, the mounting edge so I can hook up all my adapters so I can get sound to this. So this, these motors are extremely strong, and in fact, I can balance it it's balanced. This is not on right now. If you can see right here, it's pretty much close to balance with this much space between the front and of, of you know the, the back end of this uh, gyro and the back of the phone, which allows me to put anything I want here to be able to hook up my my uh, video microphones or power. Uh, to continue the phone and the gyros have no problem keeping up with that. That's a really big deal for me and something through my research Really the number one reason I got this thing was because of the strengths the strength of these gyros uh, 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 It's it, that aspect of it's worked out Perfect and I love it. So uh, uh, so now when I want to put ex extra sound, I'm sorry external sound mics on it's no big deal I can run it through this thing and 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 gets that taken care of uh, so that's been a big deal, and that's really the main reason I got it. Uh, obviously, I did some reviews, or I read some reviews, and watched a bunch of YouTube videos and things like this. And the, you know, the, the reviews are up and down. Some are great, some weren't really happy with it. Uh, Ninety percent of most issues are people who have Android-based Android uh, smartphones. There was, and I think still is, some problems with that uh, their software 
uh, working well with Android phones. I know that they've done a lot of work. They've had several complete redos and and Android apps done. They're working really hard to get that done. As far as I know, on some reading now, it's getting pretty good uh, and usable. So I think a lot of those things have been fixed. But I'm there. You know, but trust me, Moza is really doing a great job of trying to continue the updating. Uh, their their software so it works well. Uh, I know it's worked really well for the iPhone from the very beginning or when I at least got it, but there were some glitches and things that weren't working real well and they've had two or three uh, major updates and two or three little uh, bug fixes throughout those things that really have fixed a lot of the issues uh, and it's uh, working great. You know, the that they've had some that kind of mess things up. They fix one thing, create another problem. I had an issue several about a month ago uh, that several of the motion time lapse where you time lapse and it actually motions from one point to another that wasn't working. So then the update got that working. Well, then all of a sudden I couldn't record any sound. Well, three days later they had another update that fixed that problem, and now it's running really well. It's not perfect uh, yet, but more than usable. Uh, I, we're talking about some weird little things that uh, that are so minute that it's really not that big of a deal and a lot of times I haven't been able to replicate it when I've just reset my phone uh, whatever issues have happened uh, I've, I've done pretty good uh, but even without that being said the gimbal itself works great if you want to run your own software off your phone this thing works and matches up to it just perfectly there's some special things that the gimbal software allows you to do like motion time lapse uh, 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 spot checking and things like this uh, that you won't be able to do without using it, but you can still use the phone. It works uh, really well. Now, as far as the controls go, uh, they're they're a little different for each one, but this is actually very simple for me because it's the only one I've had. Uh, as far as uh, how it works and what it does, you just this little button on the side right here. You hold it down, that lights blink on, it kicks on, it'll rotate and go in its standard mode. You're able to turn everything with the joystick up and down. Uh, once you get off center, if you double click the bottom button on the wheel, it'll go back to center. What's cool about this, if you triple click it, it turns around into selfie mode. Then you can do a selfie mode, whatever, if you're into those kind of things like this. You double click it again, it comes back to its home position. Uh, all the control, as far as the yaw and the pitch, is controlled with the left button. Uh, you've got a light here and a light here. Basically, if you do two clicks, it turns off the yaw, so now it's going to be able to go up and down, and it locks in place, right? And you double-click it again. I'm sorry, that's why I sent it back. You double-click the left button again, and then what I've done now is locked the pitch, but my yaw, my left and right, is able to turn. If I triple click it, then it releases everything and you have total control left and right, up and down. And then you can go back and triple click that. And that turns it off again. I personally leave it to where I've got the left and right set, but my up and down is fixed. And I change that if I need to do anything else like uh, other type of uh, video, depending on what I want to do. You're able to do anything with this as you are with any of the other um, uh, gimbals out there. Uh, they have a couple little features that are a little bit different. We have something that's called an inception mode, which if you top button over here, you click that three times, it goes into flashlight mode and it's able to turn and go around and so I didn't even show you. It goes into flashlight mode and you're able to walk and do video like this. So it gives you a nice little flippy roundy Thing. And I'll show you that uh, example of that a little bit later on. And when you're done with that, you just triple click again. It brings it out of it. And then you come back to your home but button and it didn't do it. There it goes. I'm learning too. So anyway, uh, there's you know cool little features to it. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go over the app specifically. Uh, everybody's done that on the uh, internet, but I just want to talk to you about for me and somebody that is just using this for some basic home video uh, and things like this. It's a really great little deal. Uh, as far as the usability, uh, it feels great in my hand. I like this, that this thing is all the way around. It has no stop 360 degrees. Uh, when you're doing motion tracking, when it, walking around, that actually is very helpful. Uh, the motion tracking is actually excellent. It does a great job. Uh, I don't know if it's the best DJI I heard 
Stanford has probably the absolute best motion motion tracking. And maybe they should with all their uh, 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 stuff they've worked on with their um, uh, little helicopter little thingies. Where but anyway, point is they do a good one. But this one does really, really good. It rarely loses me. Now, if I briefly disappear like behind a pole or a bush as I'm walking around, more times than not, it'll lose where I'm at. Uh, if I'm moving around in something extremely bright and I'm backlit, that sometimes will make it go away. But other than that, I don't think it really uh, ever misses you. You can run around, you can duck, you can jart, dart, you can do all kinds of things, and it really sticks with you. Uh, I've got some pictures and, and, and film modes that I've taken off of this that I'll show uh, through this thing to give you an example of what it is. As far as my uh, uh, review of this, would I suggest it? I said, absolutely, I sure would. Uh, it was something that I was happy with when I first bought uh, because I was a beginner. It held the phone extremely steady, uh, much better than I did on my, uh, my tripod or handheld mount or my hand. Uh, so I was very happy with it. And the more I've used it, uh, I kind of went down on the scale because the software, I don't think, was right there with it. But over the last two and a half months, they've really fixed the software. It's really a nice working uh, machine right now. And for the price, the price is $109. Uh, it's cheaper than everything out there at this level. There's some other ones that are less cheap, I mean, are less expensive, but they're really not on the same level of what this thing offers. This, to me, offers what all the top tier $150 to $200 uh, gimbals out there. This really does what all those other ones do. Now it's starting to do it very well. And I could only think, based on what Moza has done with their software, I think they're just going to get better and better and better and keep updating it. They haven't stopped. Their support is uh, extremely quick. I've emailed them a couple times, and I've gotten responses back, both mostly within a day, but no more than two days. Uh, they are based out of uh, uh, not America. You can tell that the way they write and do things. But their help is there, and they're supporting the product greatly. Uh, uh, so I think a lot of the bad reviews or mixed reviews that you saw at the very beginning when this thing came out back in March of last year or this year, uh, a lot of it had to do with Android phones, not Apple, uh, which I think they have fixed on that, but I can't tell you or promise you that. It's just stuff that I've been reading. Uh, and a lot of it had to be doing with their software alone for everything that they're really fixing. And, uh, you know, they made their motion tracking much better since the time frame I've had it. Their uh, time lapse is much better than uh, when I first started. Their motion time lapse, which wasn't working when I first got it, is now working. It's working almost perfect. It does have a little bit of issue when you, you set up to start at one point and end at another point. It's starting at a one point, but it's going a little bit past 
where I wanted to stop. So it's kind of messed up a little footage that I was trying to do. When I did it the second time, I kind of adjusted and kept that in mind when I did it and it worked out just fine. You'll see that in the video later. Uh, but I also sent in a, 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 a just a notification that that's happening. And I have no doubt that they'll get that fixed because they've really fixed everything that uh, not just I've asked for, but that I know that a lot of people online are asking for too. So I would highly recommend this, especially throwing the $109 uh, price. If you take the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, strength of the gyros that it can handle a big phone and it balances without being on with this gap here. So you are able to put accessories on your phone, charge it up, things like this. Uh, another big thing I forgot to tell you, this thing also has uh, in wireless charging. This thing is made to charge through your case, through this battery right here, to keep your phone charged, which is really cool. You're also able to bring an external battery with this USB-C port down here that you can keep the base charge and still charge this. Uh, they say it's about 10 hour uh, life on the battery. I have no idea if it lasts that long. I know that I've done stuff all day long, off and on, and never had a battery issue with it with it. Now, I also don't run around charging my phone either through this. I'm sure that would take off a significant amount of power because you're splitting your power up. So worst case scenario, I'm thinking you got five hours of solid use, but most of the time you're not filming for five straight hours. You can sit down and get your phone recharged while you eat lunch or something like that. Uh, and you're, and you know, you're gimbal too. But anyway, I highly recommend it. I'm really happy with it. Uh, again, uh, you know, it's the only gimbal I've had. I will say that up front, but I've done a lot of research and and uh, uh, think I made a really good decision, especially when I throw in the $109 price there. Uh, that I think this is a steal, and there is no doubt uh, that Moza is backing this product up and trying to make the best thing they can do. So, hey, I would suggest you get one if you're in the market. Uh, I don't think you have a uh, we'll have an issue with it. And if there is, they're going to fix it. I'm pretty confident in that. So anyway, that's it. I'm glad you guys watched this. I appreciate you uh, uh, giving my video a chance. I hope it helped you out with the, with a review of this uh, gimbal. Uh, I hope you hope you remember too, and remember our motto here at uh, Big Bad Dad, thing that keeps us all going. It's always about faith, family, and fun. And like I always say, guys, if you live by those things, that's all you need. It'll get you anywhere you need in life. Uh, that's it. I'm about to wrap up here. Please like, subscribe to my channel and share it. I'd like to make this thing grow and I need your help to get that done. All right, we're done here. I got to take trash out, do that, go hang with my lovely family. Peace out, guys. Be good.